Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about subscribing to dashboards. Now you can subscribe to dashboards to refresh them on a schedule that you set. This schedule can be daily, weekly, or monthly. And it will let you receive the refreshed dashboard results by email. Now, more than one subscriber can be added per dashboard, but only users with access to the dashboard can be added as subscribers, which makes sense. You don't want someone who doesn't have access to the dashboard to be a subscriber. Filters can be applied to the dashboard, but they won't be emailed in those refreshed email updates. In those refreshed email updates, the dashboard will always appear unfiltered. Dashboard subscription emails will not reflect any changes made to color palettes or themes. But you can share dashboard subscriptions with individual users, with a group, or even by role. To add other users to a dashboard, the user must be able to have the specific subscribe to dashboards add recipients user permission ticked. Each person in your org can subscribe up to five dashboards. You can't subscribe to dashboards that are configured to display data as the dashboard viewer. Now that might be a bit confusing because a dashboard is always going to be viewed by someone. But what we mean when we say configured to display data as the dashboard viewer is that we are letting anyone who sees this dashboard see it through their own user permissions and security settings instead of through a particular person that we have chosen. This means that everyone is seeing the dashboard as themselves. It's what we call a dynamic dashboard. Subscribing to dashboards is a pretty complex topic. It involves a lot of different knowledge about Salesforce. You need to understand security settings, you need to have a good understanding of dashboard sharing, you need to understand a bit about record and object level sharing as well. This video is aimed to be a summary of the different points about subscribing to dashboards, but if you want further information about the details of running users and how you can subscribe to dashboards, then we do have other videos on that. I hope that you got something out of this video and I look forward to seeing you back here next time.